Early signing days in the books. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the game we love each and every day with the best bloggers, broadcasters, and writers in the nation. We got Mason Plummer on the line from Blue and Gold Report. Also, slap the sign, talking Notre Dame football with the Irish with the 11th ranked class in the nation, according to the 247 composite. Mason, how you doing today? Doing great, Mark. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. Appreciate you stopping by. Break down this recruiting class. So who are you extremely, extremely excited to see on the field starting this fall from uh, the 2020 class thus far? Yeah, you know, it's not very often that you see Notre Dame getting five stars at the skill positions, but here you have it with Chris Tyree, the number one all-purpose back in the nation back-to-back -back fastest man in the nation at the Nike Combine. Um, he's he's a star running back and a guy I'm really excited to, to see. Jordan Johnson, a five-star receiver out of Missouri, out of Dis Dismet High School. He's a spitting image of Chase Claypool and everything Claypool is. Um, Jordan Johnson's just a ridiculous athlete and a guy that not a lot of Notre Dame fans have seen. Um, he's, he's very similar to a Michael Floyd kind of receiver, a, a guy fans should really be excited about. And a third one as well is Michael Mayer. He's been likened to Rob Gronkowski already. People calling him Baby Gronk. He's 6'5", 240 as a junior in high school, which is ridiculous. He was ranked as a uh, as the second best tight end in the nation, first in his state out of Kentucky. Um, Mayer's an early entry. He's going to get great playing time next season. He's a guy that everybody should be excited about. Yes, so uh, certainly uh, during uh, the early portion of Brian Kelly's stay at Notre Dame and before that, certainly, as you mentioned in our other video previewing the Iowa State game, it's been a difficult uh, struggle for Notre Dame against the elites uh, from the SEC, Ohio State, those kind of programs since uh, Lou Holtz uh, left. But Brian Kelly is really up the ante in the recruiting game, as you mentioned, a couple five stars, uh, a batch of four stars, I'm counting eight players in the top 10 at their positions on this um, latest haul. And this has been the case for Notre Dame recruiting, uh, reaching elite status, top 10 status just here in the last three to four years. Yeah, and it's not an easy thing to do. Um, I think it's a lot easier to recruit at the SEC. You know, it's a, it's a place where you can get guys playing time for two or three seasons, then they're gone, they're going to the NFL. And that's, that's totally fine. It's a, it's a, You need a special kind of kid to come to Notre Dame, guys who value their education as well as places like Michigan and Stanford as well, the place where it's not ideal to play. It's going to be cold, but it's the kind of kids that are looking past their next four years of football. And it's really important to see that. And I think Brian Kelly's really hitting that home with these kids. Got Mason Plummer on the line from Blue Gold Report and also Slap the Sign. Uh, please join him on Twitter. I think it's just uh, what? Just Mason Plummer? Mason Plummer 6, numeral 6. Here it is. Mason Plummer 6. Uh, and then you can uh, track him to his various platforms right there. Uh, anybody under the radar in regards to maybe they didn't necessarily get the stars next to the names, but the guys that based on what you've heard, what you've seen on tape, you really like. Definitely uh, wide receiver Xavier Watts out of Nebraska. It came down to the University of Nebraska and Notre Dame for his commitment. You know, it's really tough to pull guys out of Nebraska, but he his commitment ended up being with Notre Dame. He's rated as a three star on 24 seven sports, but I think he has the potential to be the best wide receiver in this class even better than Jordan Johnson. Uh, he's criminally underrated. Watts is a guy, he's another twitchy athlete that just, when the when the ball's in his hands, he makes things happen, simple as. And uh, yeah, Watts is a guy that can battle for playing time next season, and definitely the season after, he'll be a star for Notre Dame, no doubt in my mind. All right, we definitely need to keep track of Notre Dame football here. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Mason, we appreciate you stopping by. It's Mason Plummer, slap the sign, Blue Gold Report, Mason Plummer 6 on Twitter, please follow him right there. Mason, we appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Mark.